The bull and bear flag patterns are common technical analysis patterns used in financial markets, particularly in trading and investing. They are continuation patterns that can provide insights into the future price direction of an asset. Bull flag pattern The bull flag pattern typically occurs within an uptrend and is characterized by a brief period of consolidation after a significant price increase. The pattern resembles a flag on a flagpole, hence the name. Here are the key characteristics. Flagpole, the initial upward price movement is known as the flagpole. It represents a strong and rapid advance in price. Flag, following the flagpole, there is a consolidation period where the price forms a rectangular shaped flag. This flag is characterized by a series of lower highs and lower lows. Breakout, once the consolidation phase is complete, the price tends to break out of the flag pattern and resume the upward trend. Volume, ideally, the volume should decrease during the consolidation phase and increase during the breakout, confirming the pattern. Traders often look for bull flag patterns as potential buying opportunities, expecting the price to continue its upward movement after the breakout. Bear flag pattern The bear flag pattern, on the other hand, occurs within a downtrend and indicates a temporary pause or consolidation before the price continues its downward move. It is essentially the inverse of the bull flag pattern. Here are the key characteristics. Flagpole, the initial downward price movement represents the bear flagpole. It indicates a strong and rapid decline in price. Flag, after the flagpole, there is a consolidation phase where the price forms a rectangular shaped flag. The flag pattern has a series of higher lows and higher highs. Breakdown, following the consolidation the price typically breaks down from the flag pattern, signaling a resumption of the downtrend. Volume, similar to the bull flag pattern, decreasing volume during the consolidation phase and increasing volume during the breakdown can confirm the bear flag pattern. Traders often consider bear flag patterns as potential selling opportunities, expecting the price to continue its downward movement after the breakdown. Trading the flag pattern involves identifying the pattern on a price chart and executing trades based on its breakout. Here are the steps involved in trading the flag pattern. Identify the flag pattern. Look for a flag pattern on a price chart. In the case of a bull flag, it will be a consolidation phase after a strong upward move, while a bear flag will occur after a significant downward move. The flag should have clear boundaries, with lower highs and lower lows. Bull flag or higher lows and higher highs, bear flag. Determine the trend, confirm the overall trend of the market. Flag patterns are considered continuation patterns, so you want to trade in the direction of the prevailing trend. If the trend is bullish, focus on bull flag patterns, and if the trend is bearish, focus on bear flag patterns. Entry point, plan your entry point for a trade. For a bull flag, you can consider entering a long position when the price breaks out above the upper boundary of the flag. For a bear flag, you can consider entering a short position when the price breaks down below the lower boundary of the flag. Some traders prefer to wait for a confirmed breakout with a close above slash below the flag's boundaries, while others may enter on a breakout and retest of the breakout level. Set stop loss, determine a suitable stop loss level to protect your trade in case the breakout fails. Place the stop loss below the low of the flag, bull flag, or above the high of the flag, bear flag. This level should be based on your risk tolerance and the characteristics of the specific flag pattern you are trading. Set take profit, decide on a target for taking profits. You can set a target based on a measured move technique, where you measure the distance from the flagpole and project it in the direction of the breakout. Alternatively, you can use other technical analysis tools, support slash resistance levels, or previous swing highs slash lows to determine your profit target. Manage risk and position size. It's crucial to manage your risk and position size appropriately. Determine the amount of capital you are willing to risk on the trade and adjust your position size accordingly. Consider using proper risk management techniques, such as risking a small percentage of your trading capital, e.g., 1-2% to per trade. Monitor the trade. Once you have entered the trade, monitor it closely. Pay attention to price action, volume, and any significant news or events that may affect the trade. Adjust your stop loss and take profit levels if necessary, 
based on evolving market conditions. Remember, trading the flag pattern is not guaranteed to be successful in every instance.